How's it going guys? It is Max Imagination here. This time I'll be showing you how to make a cardboard motorized tank. Pretty cool, huh? And if you want to know how to make it, let's get started. So here's all the things you're going to need to make your tank. A hot glue gun, a soldering iron, and some soldering lead. Some hot glue sticks for the hot glue gun. We're going to be using five, 21 bottle caps, a Stanley knife, a pair of scissors, some of this foam treddy material. So this one is one centimeter in uh, width, and the second roll is what is uh, two centimeters in width. And make sure they're the same length. And you'll need some straws, five straws, five skewers and some small straws, a battery, lipo battery, that's 3.7 volts, some wire, an on and off switch, a DC motor, a right angle turn gear, a battery connector, and all the cardboard parts are in the link in the description down below. So first you're going to start out by gluing one of the side pieces of the tank onto the base of it and the base is the one that's 10.5 inches by 17.5 and that's how it should look like once you got the second one on and then you're basically going to cut these corners off just like that so that the straw can go in place and then you're going to glue the very front part of it to the base of our tank and then the back Then we're going to solder some wires to the DC motor. First one will go in a negative, and then the other one will go in the positive. Then you're going to make some little notches at the back of your tank for the straws to go through. Then you're going to glue the straws. Then you're going to poke one of the skewers through with the gear so that it'll go right in place and make sure it, it can spin freely. Then we're going to put a piece of skewer right below where the gear is. This is just going to hold up the motor so that I can reach the gear. And once the motor is also in place, you can put a bunch of other cardboard parts around it so it keeps it solid. Then you're going to cut out a little rectangle for your switch. Pull one of the wires through that went from the motor, wire it to one of the ends of the switch, it doesn't really matter, it'll still work. Then wire a shorter wire to your switch, and then also pull it through to the other side. Then we're going to create a little door that can open up so we can put our battery inside and connect it up. Then you're going to wire the shorter wire that came from the switch to the negative end of our connector. And then the negative end of the DC motor should connect up with the positive end of our battery connector. Now you're going to glue it in a very convenient little place so that once you have the battery inside you can also connect it up to this connector. Then you're going to take a straw and cut it accordingly so it's the same width as our tank. Just like that, it's going to be glued to the front of it. And then you're going to run your hot glue all around the edges of our tank, and then we're going to place the top finally on top of our tank. Then you're going to cut three more lengths of straw so that they're the same width as our tank base, and then you're going to glue one in front of our battery flap so that you know it won't get in the way, and one before our battery flap, and then one before our switch. Now you're going to need 20 of your bottle caps, leave one of them out, and you're going to poke a hole in each and every one of them. Make sure the hole is in the very center of each bottle cap, just like that. 
Then you're going to cut up some pieces of straw so that they're about one centimeter in length. And we're basically, what we're going to do, once we have ten of these, we're going to glue them in between each bottle cap, like I'm about to show right now. And once you have 10 of these, you're going to take some of those skewers and poke them through every single one of the straws that we have on them, on the tank. And now you're going to connect them up and also glue them, just like I'm about to show now. Then you're going to glue the skinnier tread to the bottom of the wider tread so that it'll act as a grip so it'll go in between each wheel while it's spinning. Then you are going to take the treads and pull them around the tank tread wheels and then you're going to connect them up with some hot glue. Now we're going to make the turret. You're going to glue four of those trapezoids to each other just like I'm showing right now. So it creates as the bottom of a pyramid, sort of. And then you're going to take your 6 by 6 centimeter square and glue it on top of that. Then you're going to take your actual turret barrel and going to glue it on to the middle of one of your trapezoids. Then glue these two circles to the bottom of what we call our turret. Drop a huge drop of hot glue in the middle of our tank and then glue our turret on and make sure it is dry. Then we're going to take a bottle cap, our last bottle cap, and going to glue it to the very top of our turret. Just for the looks. Now we're done with our tank. Let's go test it out. So that is all for this week's video, and if you enjoyed it, like always, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and comment down below what you think about this tank. And also, you can comment what you want me to make next, and I might pick up the idea and do it. Thanks for watching, guys! See you next week! Peace!